With their sleek designs and advanced capabilities, drones are changing the way we see the world. From stunning aerial photography to efficient service delivery, the possibilities are endless. Join us in today's video as we explore the exciting world of drones and discover nine truly chilling things captured on drones. Number one, an Indian man trapped on the cliffside for two days without food and water. Babu, a young man on a trek with friends, found himself in a nightmare situation when he became trapped on a sheer vertical face of an isolated canyon. While attempting to climb Sherrod Hill, Babu slipped and became stuck in a crack on the cliff. His friends tried everything from wooden sticks to logs and ropes to try to rescue him, but to no avail. They eventually decided to seek help from the local villagers and authorities. Drone footage shows Babu sitting precariously on the cliff face, far below the hilltop. Despite several rescue attempts, including the use of a helicopter, Babu remained stranded. He faced scorching heat with no food or water and was at risk of wild animals. The police, fighting force, NDRF, National Disaster Response Force, and Coast Guard all failed in their attempts to rescue him. It wasn't until the intervention of the chief minister and the deployment of the army that Babu was finally rescued. Army officers crawled for hours to reach him, giving him water and helping him to the hilltop. Drone footage captures the moment Babu emerges safely with the aid of a rope, as rescue teams cheer him on. This terrifying event was reminiscent of the movie 127 Hours, but fortunately Babu was rescued in the end. Number 2. The Loneliest Man on the Earth In the depths of the Amazon rainforest, a solitary figure can be seen swinging a handmade axe against a tree. Dubbed the loneliest man in the world, this lone tribesman is the last surviving member of an uncontacted tribe that was tragically massacred in 1995. Despite being seen for the first time on film, little is known about the mysterious man not even his name, tribe, or language. The indigenous people of Tanaru have faced a series of brutal attacks from colonists and ranchers, forcing them from their land. However, the Brazilian government's Indian Affairs Department, known as FUNE, has confirmed the man's presence in the area since 1996 and has respected his desire to avoid contact with mainstream society. Fune has spent the last 22 years monitoring the survivor's territory in order to ensure its protection. The man, believed to be between the ages of 55 and 60, is known as the Indian of the Hole, due to the stave-filled holes he digs to trap animals. Officials have observed the gardens he has built throughout the forest, where he grows corn, bananas, papaya, and other crops. The holes, some up to six and a half feet deep, are also used by the man as hiding places. Despite living in isolation for over 20 years, the Indian of the hole continues to survive in the Amazon rainforest, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Number three, finding a missing person curled up on the riverbank. As the darkness enveloped the remote farmland, the Avon Somerset Police searched for a missing person using the details provided by a caller on WhatsApp. Despite the difficult conditions of fog and cold, they were unable to find the individual. Desperate for help, they turned to the fire service, who deployed a drone equipped with thermal imaging technology from the Portishead station. As they scoured the area, the drone's camera picked up an image of a person curled up next to a river. The Swiftwater rescue team was immediately alerted and directed to the location, where they successfully rescued the missing person. This incident in April 2021 led to a greater investment in drone technology by the Avon Fire and Rescue, ultimately saving a life with their advanced equipment. Number 4. Police Drone Finds Car Crash Victim Freezing to Death with the help of advanced drone technology and the quick thinking of the police, a car crash victim was saved from a six-foot-deep ditch in the darkness of the night. 
After witnesses reported seeing a man walking away from the scene of the accident on the A16 south of Grimsby, where a car had flipped onto its side, the Lincolnshire police deployed their drone, equipped with thermal imaging, to search the area. Within moments, the drone managed to locate the unconscious driver 160 meters from the accident site. The remarkable footage shows the drone finding the man thanks to his body heat as he lay several feet off the main road. A police officer is then seen walking towards the man, guided by the drone pilot and calling for backup as he finds him. Another officer is seen running to the scene and calling for an ambulance. The man was initially unresponsive and hypothermic, but thanks to the rapid deployment of the drone, he was able to recover and survive the ordeal. Number 5. The glowing Lava Lake in its full fiery splendor with the help of a heat-resistant suit and cutting-edge technology, it's now possible to get up close and personal with the fiery interior of a volcano's lava lake. Capturing stunning, close-up shots of the glowing, molten rock has never been easier. Thanks to this innovative equipment, photographers and researchers can safely explore the molten depths of a volcano and capture its beauty like never before. In 2014, Sam Cosman, a 33-year-old digital storyteller and tech explorer, set out on an incredible journey to capture footage of the Ambrium Volcano's raging depths. Equipped with a special heat suit and advanced technology, Sam and his team were able to document the fiery interior of the Maram Crater, one of only seven lava lakes on the planet. Located on the remote island of Ambrium in the Republic of Vanuatu, the aim of the project was to better understand how microbial life could exist in such an extreme environment. Despite the dangers of toxic gas, acid rain, and molten rock, the team successfully completed their mission and returned safely. This groundbreaking project showcases the potential of high-tech cameras to advance science and exploration. Number 6. Police Drone Saves Missing Pensioner when a loved one goes missing, the mind wanders through a dark and foreboding landscape, conjuring up all sorts of terrible scenarios and imagining the worst. On a fateful evening in June, 82-year-old Roy Giblin set out for a leisurely stroll, but as he meandered through the overgrown fields, he became disoriented and lost. His worried family contacted the authorities and soon a search and rescue operation was underway. The National Police Air Service, with its skilled drone pilots, took to the skies, scouring the long grass for any sign of the missing pensioner. Thanks to the drone's ability to conduct detailed imaging inspections from above, Mr. Giblin was eventually located after an 18-hour search. The drone's ability to search close to the ground and oversee the search efforts on foot proved invaluable, and without its assistance, Mr. Giblin may not have been found. In the end, it was a shining example of the life-saving capabilities of modern technology. Number 7. Drones find unexpected radiation hotspots in a forest near Chernobyl. After the disastrous 1986 incident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the once verdant conference forest turned a haunting shade of red before eventually dying off. Dubbed the Red Forest, this area has become one of the most radioactive locations on Earth and has been closely studied by UK scientists. Recently, aerial drones have revealed previously undetected hotspots of radiation that don't appear on any official maps. A team of interdisciplinary researchers flew specialized drones over UK's Red Forest, located just 0.3 miles from the Chernobyl complex. Using data from their observations, the scientists have created the most detailed map to date of radiation within the forest. They also discovered previously unsuspected areas of intense contamination. Though the Red Forest is already known to have higher levels of radiation contamination than any other natural site on Earth, the researchers found that the radioactivity is not evenly distributed. While some areas have seen a decrease in radiation levels, others maintain dangerously high contamination levels. The drone's discoveries have helped scientists create updated maps in order to prevent risks to visitors and gain a clearer understanding of the affected area. 
Number eight, drone finds lost tomb with 72 ancient skeletons. In a remote ravine on the idyllic island of Gran Canaria, an incredible discovery was made. A group of amateur archaeologists flying a drone over the rugged terrain stumbled upon a tomb that had been lost to time. Inside they found the mummified remains of 72 people belonging to an ancient pre-Hispanic civilization known as the Guanche. The cave, which dates back to between 800 and 1000 AD, is a fascinating glimpse into the past. Experts have confirmed that the remains found inside are of 62 adults and 10 newborns and were likely part of the original inhabitants of the Canary Islands. The Guanche people are thought to have traveled to the islands from North Africa and were eventually absorbed by Spanish settlers when they colonized the area. The cave, which was found 23 feet from the ground, was initially discovered by members of the amateur archaeology group El Legato. The group, which was formed by three friends with a fascination for archaeology, took photos of the cave and initially thought that people would think the images were fake because of the sheer number of bones found inside. The discovery of the cave and its contents is a significant find and will likely be used in further research and studies by archaeologists. The group that made the discovery only recently reported it to authorities, out of concerns that the site may be vandalized or even looted. Despite the challenges of accessing the site, the cave provides a unique opportunity to learn more about the lost Guanche civilization and the people who once called the Canary Islands home. Number 9. Remains of 5,000-year-old Henge Monument Discovered in Ireland Nestled in the rolling hills of rural Ireland, 30 miles north of Dublin, lies a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its rich archaeological landscape. For years, researchers believed that the area had been thoroughly explored and excavated. But in 2018, a photographer named Anthony Murphy made a startling discovery while flying a camera drone over the fields. During an unprecedented 40-day drought, Murphy captured aerial footage of a 5,000-year-old monument hidden beneath the parched earth. The structure, thought to be a gathering place encircled by rocks or wood, was only visible thanks to the drought's effects on the soil. Heavy objects in the ground hold more moisture than their surroundings, and with no rainfall for 40 days, the contrast between untouched patches of land and those that had once held ancient structures became clear. Michael McDonick, chief archaeologist for Ireland's National Monument Service, described the discovery as a once-in-a-lifetime event that could greatly expand our knowledge of this magical archaeological landscape. The aerial footage captured by Murphy is available to all, offering a glimpse into the past and a reminder of the incredible secrets still waiting to be uncovered. What do you think about these discoveries? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below.